Audio and photos have emerged for the first time showing Iran's underground ballistic missile facilities where groups of ready-to-fire missiles are moved around a large tunnel using an automatic train-type system. Vertically stored missile magazines appear to be carrying missile groups into position for rapid and sequential launch from the vast underground bunker. On its YouTube channel, the semi-official Iranian military achievement media stated that trains carrying ballistic and long-range missiles can create conditions of sustained firing on this platform. The same source added that the quantity and continuity of missile fire will increase impressively in a safe atmosphere, that is, in a protected underground cave. The location of the facility seen in the latest imagery has not been confirmed, but Iran is known to have built underground caves to protect ballistic missiles operated by the Revolutionary Guard Corps in the past. Previously, imagery from inside these caves showed a long line of ballistic missiles aboard the launcher, a process that now appears to have been perfected, or at least augmented, using an automated rail system. The thinking behind the system appears to allow sequential ballistic missile launches. Since the missiles on each platform are ready to fire, there is no need to reload individual launchers using cranes or transloaders. The magazine method could potentially allow more missiles to be fired from a single bunker while increasing the likelihood of an outgoing missile strike making anti-ballistic missile defenses redundant. Iran has the potential to massively increase the number of missiles stored in each underground complex. Some of the tunnels in which the rail-mounted missiles are being transported also appear too narrow to accommodate a tell or conventional crane launcher. The concept also appears to be broadly aligned with Iran's recently announced missile farm, in which short-range ballistic missiles are hidden in buried launchers to help reduce their vulnerability to deterrent attacks. In the case of railroad missile magazines, however, the weapon itself has been identified by analysts as a liquid fuel, a mud medium-range ballistic missile MRBM, a derivative of the Shahab-3. Ahmad reportedly has a range of about 1,000 miles and is considered capable of carrying a nuclear warhead if such a capability exists. The Ahmad missile appears to be developed around a new re-entry vehicle RV, fitted with fins for additional maneuverability, accuracy and stability. The missiles on the magazine assembly also appear to be separated by a separator, which can include all the umbilical and pre-launch test equipment needed to fire autonomously, or nearly autonomously. Although it is not clear from the available imagery, it is reported that each clip of the missile contains five bullets. In a wartime scenario, fueled and ready to launch EMADs would probably fire first, with the aim of getting as much into the air as possible during the first attack, before their underground facilities were destroyed. While the imagery shows the missiles being lifted vertically on their multi-round launch platform and then moved inside the underground tunnels, it is unclear how they would actually be fired. Typically, Iranian missile caves like this one have a port on the roof where the missiles are launched. However, the proximity of the missiles to each other as set out in their magazine suggests that there may be another stage in the process, where one missile is moved to the launch chamber, to avoid damaging adjacent missiles upon detonation. The facility is thought to have a number of launch chambers arranged in rows, so that each clip of five missiles can be separated into five launch chambers for coordinated launch. Interestingly, Hins also points out interesting parallels with the V-2, A-4 ballistic missile system mounted on Nazi Germany's tracks and how to fuel the weapon. He highlighted how the Iranian missile complex shares similarities with the Lacapole bunker the Germans built in northern France as an underground V-2 launch facility during World War II. Another observer pointed to the writing on the side of the missile, which appeared to read UAE. However, some of the writing that follows has been obscured with a placard and there is no other evidence to suggest that it refers to a potential target in the United Arab Emirates. It is possible that the missiles were pre-programmed for targets intended for their benefit and launched in groups of targets located at these locations in an attempt to overwhelm the missile defense system.